Hi guys, Mr. Waffles here. Hope you had a great week. If you didn't, well, there's nothing a good old fashioned donut can't fix. Donuts are tasty, they're delicious, and if you don't have one, you're missing out. I better go get you guys one. But, donuts aren't the easiest thing to make in the world. They're a little complicated. So, I've got a recipe just for you guys who love donuts to make it so much easier to make at home. Plus, it's impossibly easy. Wanna know what it is? Well, it's called donut muffins. They're really less muffin than they're donut -y. Or you could do it the other way around. But they're still really easy. They don't require that many ingredients. And uh, yeah, let's make this. Real quick, just before we make this, I need you to hit that subscribe button and like button if you're enjoying my channel or any of my videos and ring that little notification bell in the top right corner. That'll give you info on all my latest videos. Thank you for being subscribed and liking the video. And it really encourages me to make more videos like this with great content. Thank you. It's ingredients time, woohoo! So first, we have one and two thirds cup whole wheat flour. Doesn't really matter, only any flour. And then two thirds cup of sugar. I use coconut palm sugar because it's very healthy. Then two tablespoons of cornstarch or corn flour, depending on what you call it. Then three fourth teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons baking powder, two large eggs, half teaspoon nutmeg, half teaspoon of cinnamon, both of these are grounded by the way, three fourth cup of milk, one stick of butter, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna need a whisk to mix up our ingredients. You know, this is like that time in Minecraft where you can get like a whisk and then you can make that beloved cake of yours. But we're making donut muffins. So now we have to mix all of our dry ingredients in this medium sized bowl. So first we've got our flour. Ooh. And we've got our sugar. Healthy adding of sugar. And we've got cornstarch. Salt, baking powder, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And now we get to mix this all together until smooth. Keep on mixing. So now I'm done whisking our dry ingredients and we're gonna put these to the side and now we're gonna make our wet ingredients. And we've got our milk. Then our vanilla extract. And spills. Oh, see, see. Oh, more vanilla extract on and two eggs. And then the whisk it. Oh yeah, they see me whisking. They hate in. Everything is so fun when they hate in. So, now we have our mixed wet ingredients and we've melted our stick, butter the butter, and he's became butter the liquid. So now we have to add our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. And then we have to add our melted butter afterwards. This is so fun, right? 
doesn't take that much work too. It only takes a butter of a second. Everything's so butter it with so much bacon. Oh yeah, I forgot we have to add the butter. Doesn't that look butterlicious? Okay, I'll stop, these are terrible jokes. So now I've preheated my oven to 375 degrees and I've greased my muffin tray right here. And I've also thoroughly mixed my dough with no lumps. And even if your dough doesn't look like this and it's a little liquidy, you can add just a bit more flour to make it like this. So now we're going to make balls like this. And then we're going to put them in our grease muffin tray. Now I've made my balls with my dough over there. And I made 12 balls because my muffin tray can take 12 spaces. Balls, balls, balls. Their balls are still really fun. Wait, no, I did not play with them. I definitely did not play with them. Do not question me. Yay! Yeah, totally did not do that. So now we have to put our muffins right here, you know, donut muffins into the oven for 15 to 18 minutes and they should be they should feel set when gently pressed on. So let's uh, open my oven. Which one should we put it on? Top or bottom? Hmm. I just bottom. I don't care. So my our muffins are done and hmm? where are they? Guess I can have a little magic in this video. Oh, that actually worked. Well, you can see they're very puffed up and nice. They look really good. So I'm gonna move these to the side a little bit and we're gonna make our icing. So now let's make our topping. First, we've got half a cup of coconut palm sugar very healthy, very nice. One tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground cardamom, and two tablespoons of coconut oil. Coconut oil can be substituted with butter if you don't have it, but I have coconut oil, so I'm gonna use it. Yay! So to make our topping, we're going to mix together all our dry ingredients, which is our sugar, cinnamon and our cardamom. This gives a nice spiced sugar taste. It's gonna be delicious. This is probably one of the most fun parts, the topping, because you get to see your final color. So to top our muffins, we have to take one muffin out and we have to dump the warm tops into the coconut oil or butter, depending on what you're using. Then, we dump them into our spiced sugar. Look at that. Now I'm gonna put this right here. This might take a while for the rest of the so I'm gonna do a time lapse for you. Woohoo, challenge complete. Yes, this is the most easiest part of this recipe and the most tasty. It's taste testing and or eating. So now I brought my little taste tester here. His name is Parthur and he's going to taste test my donut muffins. Right Parthur? Mmm, this smells good. Can I have one? Sure, why not? Let's get here. There you go. He is an expert taste tester. He is professional. Mmm, oh, okay. this tastes good. Really? How good? Delicious. 
A hundred percent, good. Thank you so much, Parker. Mmm. He was right. It is good. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Especially, I hope you have fun. Now, have a great time, have a great day, have a great week, and happy baking. Please like, share, and subscribe to get more content from you. It really encourages me. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Mr. Waffles out.